think this is way too big, but we'll give it a try. Cute. done it looks really cute of course the binding it's way too big uh, for the amount of sheets that i have here but at least i already gave it a try and i know that now i have to buy way smaller wires than this ones um, i'm going to do notebooks with more sheets than this um, but yeah, i'll have to smaller wires than this one so i'm going to order them and i'm also going to do lined paper on the inside Yay, you look so cute! So I realized I was doing it wrong. I took a look at this one that I have over here. It is on the inside so it doesn't move that much. And I did it wrong and <laughs> I put it on the outside. But next time I mount them I already know. But they still look really really cute so this one was the first try. And then, and I noticed that something was wrong because this doesn't look good this was the second try that i did for the moth ones with lined paper and it looks so so nice i think this is a nice amount of paper for this type of notebooks it's around 80 70 sheets i think so yeah pretty happy with them i think this will be like a nice addition to the shop so i'm going to give another try um, next week because right now it's friday so then i can add like two or three designs for the next shop page so i can see how they work on the shop so yeah quite happy with that and i'm also going to order a smaller wire even though i think this size is good for this amount of sheets um this thinner ones not but I think this size is good for these ones so I have to see other colors that they have and all of that but overall I'm quite happy with them yay hey so I want to do a little break here on the video while I'm doing a break eating some cake <laughs> to talk about the sponsor of this video Skillshare if you don't know about Skillshare they are an online learning community where you can find loads and loads of classes there's classes basically for everyone one of my favorite features with Skillshare is that you can save classes and you can do uh, like little folders <laughs> and I love organizing them so I have one for like productivity for social media for illustration um, for when I want to learn for a specific subject. One thing that I find super super cool as well is that everyone can participate and give classes and this means that you can find some of your favorite creators in there. This week I'm trying to focus more on social media, trying to learn more about it, trying to see what I can improve and I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on the video of how I've been feeling about, about it all. But yeah, really 
put a couple of classes uh, saved up on a folder for social media. And the one that I want to take next is from Andy J. Pisa. And you might know him from a super cool podcast that he has. Um, and the one that I'm taking next is called Social Media for Creatives, Five Exercises to Power Your Freelance Career. And just by the title, I think this is perfect for what I need right now and what I want to develop with my social media presence and all of that. So yeah, I'm really excited about this class and trying to improve and learn more about these things like going back to basics and all of that so if you want to take these classes we'll share her offering the first 1000 subscribers to click the link in the description one month free trial on skillshare let me know in the comments any lessons that you are interested or that you might take next and maybe some um that you think that might be helpful for me so yeah the link in the description in the description for you to start exploring your creativity today. Hello, welcome to another studio vlog. I already talked a little bit um, in the beginning of the video, but I still haven't said hi. Um, it's now Monday. The last time I talked to you was Friday. I wasn't really in the mood to create products. I can do stickers and all of that for the Patreon box last Friday. So I did something that I have been putting on my to-do list forever, which was the wire notebooks. And I'm so, so happy with them. Let me grab them. So you saw me doing this too. Uh, this wire is actually uh, way too big for this notebook, but I think it's the perfect one uh, for this one because you can open it and like the pages don't touch. Like I hate when the wire it's so small that the pages when you open them keep going against together and you can't really open it. So I think this size is perfect. Uh, I noticed that I was doing it wrong and you're supposed to put this part on the inside. So basically you have to close it like this, like on the, with the cover. It's a whole thing, um, but yeah, I figured out it was wrong. And then I went to see some notebooks that I had at home and I realized what was wrong. So these are done and I'm also, I'm going to put them on the next shovel plate. I think I'm only going to put like this type of notebook with the bugs, the moth and the, um, the frog ones. And then over time I'll keep adding more designs so it's not too confusing at first because I'm still perfecting them and all of that and I'm going to uh, put them with lined paper and also with um, plain paper uh, I think I'm just going to make them to order because these materials are more expensive and all of that um, and I have no idea how they are going to work on the shop uh, but yeah these are going to be on the next shop update and I've been having some questions when the shop update is coming um, hopefully in the big in the um, last days of the month um, the pins have been approved they are in production I already paid them and it was so much money but yeah they are being made I also also uh, order a restock of the berry pins because I only have like three or something so yeah it's quite scary because uh, pins are so expensive and it's not something that I really sell but I'm not sure because it's because I only have like one design so I really want to um, try them out see how they work and then I'll go with that uh, but yeah, hopefully they'll be here by the end of the month and then I'll just release everything together. I don't think it's worth to do the shop update now for the notebooks, washies and all of that and then do another shop update in like three weeks time just for the pins. So I'm just going to put them all together and release everything at the same time. I'm going to release the date as soon as I know when the pins are arriving more or less. Um, I still have to do the backing cards and all that. Uh, but yeah, still a lot of things to do. This week I'm finishing up the Patreon goodies. I ordered some badges to go with the Patreon box, so I'm really excited about that. Right now I'm taking care of the print for Patreon and I always get a lot of questions of where I get like my inspiration and all of that, so I thought I could show you. <laughs> so most of my ideas really come to like things around me um, and I've seen some cute bugs now that it's spring and some really fluffy bees around in the park um, so I really wanted to do like a bug theme um, and another thing that it's major inspiration for me it's Pinterest so I 
sometimes just scroll around and I ended up going to like searching for animals or something like that and I found some really cute let me try to find them so some really cute photos of like animals and stuff like that and they are just so adorable and then you just keep going around and around and you just I don't know find the ideas and all of that and I just try to put them in a board so I can keep going back to it um I mean look at this guy it's adorable this is how it works more or less um then I try to look at some reference pop photos and that's what I did I have like a board on on Pinterest called Patreon and this is where I add like my reference photos my inspiration um, also for like color palettes, like this illustration was a little bit of the base of the color palette that I use to see other people's work. Um, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming to, and you start to compare yourself, but most of the times if I'm like in a good headspace, um, it hacks up as inspiration as well. And now for the, um, the print that I want to do, I've been doing some more complex prints over time, but I had this idea on my mind for this one since I'm doing bugs, I have at my home and I'll try to pop a picture over here, like one of those kind of vintage posters with like butterflies and bugs. And I want to create something around that, like similar to that vibe. So that's what I'm going to do and have like a winter post, vintage poster vibe, but like cutesy style. So yeah, I'm going to work on that right now and I'll show you the final results in a little bit. But yeah, inspiration can be in so many things. It can be all around you. Like right now, I really want to make a collection. I, I do have a Happy Mail collection, but on my street where I live right now, there's like so many fun um, mailboxes that look like cute faces and right now I'm just so excited to make like a full collection um, just with cute mailboxes smiling and all of that um, I do like like going to thrift stores and finding vintage items I really like vinyl discs and all of that so I also really want to make like a vintage um, kind of thing like for a collection um, and I just keep writing these ideas. So yeah, basically your inspiration can be all over the place. You just have to, I don't know, look at things and um, trying to, like I always think in collections. Um, so that helps to create like new ideas for the shop and all of that. Um, and I really like to work on that way. Um, so it really depends on how you work and all of that. Um, but yeah, I think it's all around us. We just have to look at things with a little bit more attention. So yeah, I hope that answered your question, like how I get inspiration and all of that. Um, I know sometimes it can be a little tricky and we get less inspired, um, but we can always go back and search the things that we enjoy, even if it's like food and stuff like that we can always try to explore those things, I think. the result of the print this is not really centered I had to add a, a little bit more borders I don't know why um, my MacBook doesn't print like um, like the borders are a lot smaller than my PC over there were so it's kind of weird but <laughs> yeah this is the final result I really really like it um, it's like the vintage post uh, poster with like with a cute twist and more colorful. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get printing and get all the prints ready for patrons. Uh, if you haven't seen last week's studio vlogs, right now my Patreon is on pause. Um, so if you get the boxes, like you join the goodie tier right now, you pay when you join Patreon and I'm still going to send the box, even though it's the May box, I'm still going to send the goodies if you join the goodie tier, but that's not what I want to talk about. Um, so this month I'm doing a pause to try to reflect on the tiers that I have right now, the content and all of that, uh, because I was starting to feel really burned out, like trying to 
to keep up with the shop, with Patreon, with the goodies um, and freelance work like everything at the same time and having to keep creating all of these things. Um, so I'm doing some changes on Patreon. I'm going to do a whole video just about that in the end of the month um, before relaunching my Patreon page in July. But I'm going to change the tiers a little bit. It will be kind of the same thing that it is right now. But regarding the goodies, I'm going to be sending the goodies only every two months so I can keep making good like better boxes, um, creating washi tapes, pins, like all these kind of things that I have to order with a little bit more time. Um, so the box are coming out every two months and something really, really exciting um, that I'm thinking of doing, that almost 100% I'm doing, um, is creating a subscription box. So you'll be able to get the goodies not only on Patreon, but also as a subscription box on my website. And there you can join for only a month and or you can join for like six months you can choose the amount of time you want to be subscribed to the subscription box because I feel like some patreon some people are a little still afraid of patreon they are afraid they will forget to cancel or don't really understand how it works um, so hopefully I'll be able to reach more people with a subscription box and this way if you only want to pay a month you can already establish that you only want to pay a month so the goodies will stop being exclusive for patreon uh, which is kind of a hard decision because I feel like that was the main thing of my goodie boxes for Patreon but I was feeling like I was putting so much work into it and then that work would be stop in time for that month of course it's still on my Patreon shop and all of that but I can't really reach a lot of people with it um, and I didn't feel like it was a waste of time or anything but I really want my work to be more spread out and um, being able to replicate it a little bit more um, so yeah that's one of the big news for Patreon I'll keep you posted all about that as I said I'm going to do a video all about that I still need to um, put the website with the subscription boxes and all that so the products will be on the subscription boxes on my Patreon um, if you want to get all the extra content as well that I put on Patreon like extra lives extra podcasts uh, printables all of these things but if you only want the goodie boxes you can then subscribe to my subscription boxes they are still not available um, I'm still working on that um, so yeah I think that's exciting and this way I can put the products on my shop later on um, and yeah I'm still going to have um, probably two value boxes um, that you can get like I have on my patreon um, but I'm still considering if I'll be doing pins every two months or switching between washies and pins we'll see about that because right now the higher tier on my patreon get an exclusive pin um, so yeah I'm still thinking all about that but I'll have to put posts on patreon and ask them all about that as well but yeah that's one of the news that I wanted to share with you and yeah right now I'm going to keep working on the print okay prints are done and I really really like them I actually really like that like the colors um, really like that the colors are different um, so they are all different but they come together really really nicely so hopefully the badges will be uh, done tomorrow and then I can start preparing everything so yay super super happy with these goodies right here I'm working on the pins for Patreon. It has been a while since I filmed like the process of me doing this. Um, I still do them with like shrink plastic. I sometimes order them in acrylic, but this month I'm going to do them in shrink plastic. And I thought I could do like a set of two mini pins. I'm doing these two flowers as a mini set, but I'm kind of already regretting it because this part is so thin and I don't know, yeah. 
wish me luck <laughs> hi so i guess it's time to chat again i've been really enjoying like when i'm doing these kinds of like works and stuff um like more repetitive works where i don't have to be like really focused or anything i just do have to do like stuff um like right now cutting and all of that um i feel like chatting with you because i did this last time a couple of weeks ago and it was so nice to i don't know just chat about things that have been going on how i've been feeling and all of that and i don't know i just i guess with like i have a lot of things going on really uh, i have the shop i have patreon i have uh, youtube and then i have to post on social media i do reels i do uh, instagram posts and all of that and sometimes i actually kind of forget about talking about things that i feel like are important to talk about um and all of that and most of the time i just talk about these kind of things on my patreon podcast and I end up forgetting to talk about on studio vlogs and that makes me really sad but it's something that I don't know I can't keep up with everything I really want to start shedding more uh, on the studio vlogs about life about how I've been feeling all of that I've also been hearing a lot of people talking on Instagram and all of that especially artists that do this full-time um, and that are, that are really dependent on like social media and all of that it all seems really overwhelming right now and I've been feeling so much like that like I really want to keep up with Instagram and TikTok and all of these amazing platforms but like my body is just not working and not wanting to create content because it's just so much work and it feels like no matter how much you try to keep up you can never keep up because things are changing and then you have to do this and then they have to do another video and then you have to post photos and then you have to talk this and then you have to talk about that and then you have to post stories and sometimes you feel like such it's so many things at the same time that I just end up doing nothing. I posted a story today for my patrons, like I have a patron exclusive group, uh, like a close friend group on Instagram and I shared like this week I was feeling so so tired and lazy all the freaking time, like my body literally can't, like I have trouble getting up in the morning, um, I have like trouble focusing and I just feel so lazy and I don't know um, and one of my patrons uh, sent me a message like maybe you, you are PMSing and I just sometimes I forget how much these things like as a woman and a person with uterus like how these things can affect you so much like in your day-to-day -day life and if you are a woman if you are nailing it and if you I don't know if you are working so so hard you are amazing because these things can really affect the way that we work in our day-to-day -day life and i realized that when i had those really down times like i was pmsing it was the week before my period and now it's the week after my period and i'm feeling demotivated because i really want to do things it's like my body literally doesn't help me <laughs> and doesn't allow me to do stuff yeah i have to we have to be kinder to ourselves because yeah, I forget how much one thing can affect my life so much. Yeah, I have to keep reminding myself of that and it's just my body doing its best. I love when my camera run also runs out of battery and literally tell me to shut up. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you want me to shout about and all of that. But I thought I think it will be nice to you know start to chat a little bit more with you um trying to remember to chat as well and i don't know chat some more bits about life i guess um so yeah i think that will be fun i'm also going to try to take you more out of the studio um film a little bit more around the house and my hobbies and all of that so yeah, i hope that is interesting for you as well and really like every time i don't know i feel like with these studio vlogs like i'm always in the studio and i don't really share a lot about my life um sometimes i like to keep private but um 
I don't want it to be like all about work, 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 work. I also want to, I don't know, share a little bit more about myself, things I like to do, um, and also trying to, this will help me fighting that thing about that um, work is basically just the biggest part of my life. So yeah, I really want to, so I think that will help as well. And talking about it, it came that time of the year where I'm literally, literally obsessed with Stranger Things again. I've been doing, <laughs> like, all I've been doing is like watch videos and TikToks about like theories until the last two episodes come out um, in the 1st of July. Stranger Things have become like one of my favorite shows for sure. Um, and it reminds me a little bit of Fringe, which is like my favorite show of all time um, by JJ Abrams. Yeah, it's really exciting and I really, really enjoy it. Even though the first few episodes of this uh, series were super scary and weird, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm actually uh, re-watching it all over again. Uh, which is really nice because I actually forgot about a bunch of things. So yeah, it has been nice to see them grow again. Um, yeah, if you watch Stranger Things, let me know in the comments because I would love to share my thoughts <laughs> with you. But yeah, I've been way into the deep with like Stranger Things theories on TikTok, which is, has been really, really fun. But yeah, I'm going to keep making this paint. I'll chat you in a little bit. If you are right now on this part of the video and if you are not subscribed to my channel, remember to do so because it really, really means a lot. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. All of these YouTube things and leave it, um, leave something in the comments so I know you enjoyed this video. So yeah, I'm going to make making these pins and I'll chat with you in a little bit. to be on my knees here but let's put the shrimp plastic in the oven They are done and look how tiny they look. This will be a hard thing to put resin on, but yeah, I'm excited about them and putting on the backing cards like side by side. So yeah, let's finish them. So I already finished the pins and I've put them in the backing cards and I really really like the result. This was a lot of work because they are so tiny. I also already printed and cut the thank you cards and I'm actually thinking about turning them into postcards for the shop because I really really like the thank you cards that I do for patrons. I do write like the thank you notes on the back but I'm thinking about um, making this like bigger in A6 and turning them into postcards so yeah let me know what you think. And 
then all these other things I already showed you. So we have the bookmark, the stickers, and the print, which I love very, very much. So yeah, this is the box so far. I'm still waiting for the badge, so hopefully that will be done soon. I'm going to end this video vlog here. Hopefully the badge will be done tomorrow. I'll try to insert a picture on the screen if it was done before me editing this studio vlog and all of that. Um, hopefully this video wasn't too boring. Leave a little flower emoji in the comments if you've seen this video until the end. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Bye.